Let's continue my my review series in honor of Halloween with Monster House. And and yesterday I reviewed uh, Shaun the Dead. And, and, and the day before yesterday I did my top 10 best movie villains of all time video. And now this time I'm going to review Monster House. And I actually have been really looking forward to reviewing this movie. Especially during this time of year. And if, if you guys are, are wondering... Why I'm I'm reviewing the these movies like Shaun the Dead, Monster House. It's because Halloween is around the corner, and I want to celebrate that fact by reviewing a bunch of scary movies. And and I also d did this last year, and you guys can go check out those the, those videos now. So so yeah. So today I'm going to be re I'm going to be reviewing Monster House. So Monster House is this animated movie that was. Released back in 2006, about 10 years ago, and it focuses on these three kids: DJ, Shouter, and Jenny. And and across from DJ's house, this this grumpy old man named Mr. Mr. I think his name. I'll, I'll, I I want to say Mr. Crocker, but that's the name of the teacher from the Fairly Odd Parents. I forgot the old man's name, but if you guys were if you guys were. were Remember it, uh, stuttering. I hate stuttering. Ugh. If you guys remember the old man's name, just just leave a comment below. I just, just I I haven't seen I haven't seen the movie in so long. I'm sorry. It's just uh, and so the the old man's house is literally haunted. The house is li is literally alive, and and now we have our movie that is completely crazy the whole way through. And yeah, uh. Uh, Monster House, I think, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated a a animated movies of all time. It doesn't. A lot of people, cause it didn't that it didn't age well, cause the critics liked it, but I don't think it was that big of a hit at the box office here in the U.S. It was like it made like seventy three million dollars in the U.S. and that's it, and that's kind of a bummer for a movie like this. Uh, however, even though I do think this movie. Is is underrated? Is this movie flawless? No, I do have some problems with it, but overall, I think it's a really good movie. And so, let's get to the voice acting. The voice acting in, in its movie is really good. Steve Buscemi, I think that's his name. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he voices the old man in its movie, and and he, and he does a really good job with his old man voice. And and Kevin James, I didn't know Kevin James was in this movie, and I didn't know that until until uh, a few years ago. He voices the uh, uh, police officer, and he's really funny in this movie. A lot funnier than what he's been doing in the past recent years. I can tell you that much. And, uh, and I think the brother from Hannah Montana, uh, the actor's name is Michael Musso. I think he plays the brother in Hannah Montana. He voices DJ, and his voice is perfect for DJ's character, because it's a really good voice acting, and, and the voice acting for the kids is, is really good, too. And this movie is rated PG, but it's one of those animated movies that's not actually for kids. It's more for older kids, like, like say, Shrek. I mean, Shrek Shrek is one of those movies that's for older kids because of the jokes. And, yeah, yeah, Shrek has a ton of adult jokes. And, and, I, and I, I recommend Shrek for, for older kids. And just like with Monster House... It has a ton of adult jokes, and it's for it's strictly for older kids like Shrek. And you can tell the writer of this movie watched Shrek, and he made he decided to like make jokes for I don't know how to say it, but uh, they're a lot more modern than Shrek, though. I will say that though, and not that it, it, it's a bad thing, but it's PG. Just let it be PG. Like don't don't let it be like PG thirteen like over the edge, but overall, yeah, the jokes are really funny in it, and, and yeah, so yeah, I actually think, okay, yeah, actually, here, here are the problems that I have with Monster House, the animation is a little bit awkward at times, uh, it's not as creepy as the Polar Express, even though the animation in that movie is really good, even though the faces on the human character in Polar Express is terrifying, Monster House the animation is awkward at times, but it's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't call it groundbreaking, but it's it's good. It's good animation, and the movie 
it does slow down for a little bit. Like, I remember every time I would always watch this movie, I was like, okay, let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. I mean, the movie slows down to explain uh, the the old man's backstory and why he's he's so grumpy and why the house is haunted. I'm not going to say why, but it's one of the biggest plot twists in movie history. And it's actually kind of sad, actually. And I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say it's pretty mature for a PG rating for a... Uh, uh, for a for an older kids movie, but hey, so is Shrek. <laughs> so yeah, overall, I, I think Monster House is a great movie for older kids, though, like Shrek. And uh, and the animation is at times awkward, and and it can it's good animation, but it can get a, a little awkward after a while. And the jokes are funny; they're really adult and modern. And they're similar to Shrek. Like, every time I watch Monster House, I would, I would always compare the adult jokes to Shrek. So, overall, I'm going to give Monster House an A-. minus. Pretty underrated movie. If you don't, if you can't find an animated movie to watch on Halloween night, I recommend watching Monster House. It's a pretty good movie. So, I have a question for you guys. Have you seen Monster House? What did you think of it? Or, what's your favorite animated movie that's for older kids? Like Shrek or Monster House or... Whatever. I like Shrek. That's my favorite. Shrek is love. Shrek, Shrek is life. So, whatever it is, comment below and let me know. And my and my Halloween re review series will continue tomorrow with Scooby-Doo. Yes, I'm reviewing the live-action Scooby-Doo movie. That's going to be hard. So, if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to subscribe.